Solar bankruptcies are going through the roof. That's on top of over 2,000 lawsuits pending against solar finance companies. Will solar installers be able to survive the loss of the 30% tax credit? I'm gonna be answering those questions in today's video and make sure that you watch to the end because I'm gonna give you my prediction on where the industry is going in 2026. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're talking about this is a matter of survival for solar installers. Yesterday afternoon, I had a call with the head of SIG Energy here in the United States, and he was briefing me on the company's new strategy to help solar installers survive the coming downturn that we're all anticipating in early 2026. Now, of course, those of you who've been following the channel for a while, you know that solar installers have been facing a number of headwinds going all the way back to middle of 2022. Uh, of course, that's when interest rates started coming up. And whenever interest rates go up, it just makes solar more expensive. You know, if you're financing the purchase of your solar power system, the higher the interest rates, the higher the monthly payment is going to be on your solar system. And so that has a negative effect on sales. It, it's harder to sell a bill swap or a monthly electric bill reduction if you have to pay a higher interest rate on your financing. Of course, the other issue we've been dealing with is the higher dealer fees. Now again, dealer fees are fees that financing companies charge to solar installers, and then solar installers have to pass that along to customers in the form of a higher installation price. But oftentimes these fees are not disclosed. And so if a homeowner looks at a proposal, they think they're just looking at parts and labor, not realizing the price of everything has been inflated to cover the cost of the hidden dealer fee. And these dealer fees have also skyrocketed in the last couple of years. You know, when solar financing got started, dealer fees were as low as 7%. But now we're seeing dealer fees on some loans as much as 20, 30, even 40% of the total contract amount, meaning 40% meaning of the total contract amount or the total loan amount is kept by the financing company as a fee before the first dollar is paid to the contractor. And then of course, we've seen the loss of one for one net metering programs, most notably in California under their so-called NEM 3.0. Now with a net metering program, what it means is your relationship with the power company is a two-way relationship. During the daytime when you have excess solar production, Whatever the home doesn't need, you can just sell it back to the power company and they give you full credit for the electricity you send them, allowing you to then draw it back in during evening hours using the credits you earned during daytime. But what we're seeing with California and other states that are dropping one for one net metering, now you have to send them four, five, or six kilowatt hours of electricity in the daytime for every one that you get to pull back. And of course, that really kills your return on investment if you're talking about a solar system or it means you have to install battery storage with your solar system so you can store your excess energy as opposed to having to dump it to the power company at a discounted rate. And of course now the issue of the year is the loss of the 30% solar tax credit for residential systems. Now that means that the way solar is sold, the way solar is presented, it's essentially it's going to be 30% more expensive for many homeowners uh, if they intend to take advantage of that federal tax credit. So what that means is if the industry sales model is going to survive, we have to figure out a way to drive out cost of the solar installation. By the way, if you're planning to have a solar system installed this year so you can take advantage of the 30% federal tax credit, leave a comment down below. We'd like to hear from you. Now, we've also dealt with a number of large, high-profile solar business bankruptcies this year, the most notable of which would be Sonova, which is the largest or was the largest residential solar leasing company, uh, as well as Mosaic, which was one of the largest solar financing companies or solar loan companies. Of course, also, at as of this recording, there's over 2,000 lawsuits pending against other solar finance companies, companies like Goodleap and Dividend. You know, companies that I've covered they, that, that get involved with these charging of dealer fees, and then they have to repackage the solar loans and try to sell them off to investment funds on Wall Street, that whole business model is coming under a lot of pressure right now. Uh, and a big reason for that is the fact that there have been a high rate of customers defaulting on solar loan payments. And of course, one of the reasons for that is that a number of solar contractors have gone out of business, leaving homeowners with abandoned systems, sometimes systems that never got installed or they got installed but they were never activated. 
And so the homeowner doesn't want to make payments on the solar loan for a product that was never installed properly. By the way, if you haven't seen our previous video on this topic, go back and watch the previous video, Solar Subprime Crisis, where we explain this issue in more detail. But I think we're yet to fully digest the impact of the failure of some of these large solar institutions like Sonova and Mosaic. I mean, remember, every time a solar financing company goes down, that's potentially dozens or hundreds of vendors and service providers that aren't getting paid. We're talking about equipment suppliers. We're talking about O&M suppliers, people that provide repair service for solar systems. They're not getting paid. Um, and of course, uh, installers. If, if installers had just completed projects for new solar installations and they were financed by a finance company that just went bankrupt, that contractor may be out that money for that entire installation. So there, there's cascading effects here when these large financial institutions go down and solar installers are one of the type of companies that are really coming under pressure in this kind of environment. Okay, so let's talk about the plan to save solar installers and specifically what SIG Energy and Point Guard are doing to help support US solar installers. So basically here, we've gotta figure out a way to cut 20 to 30% out of the install cost. If we can reduce that cost, then effectively we've weathered the storm of losing the tax credit, which we know is coming at the end of this year. One way we can do that is with better financing options. Uh, again, dealer fees are, are kind of these hidden fees that financing companies charge to solar installers, which ends up inflating the overall cost of the solar installation. But one of the things that we've seen recently is the emergence of a number of good financing options that don't require charging any dealer fees. They just charge a, a fair market-based interest rate, which as of this recording right now is about six to 8% interest, depending on the lender and your credit position. Of course, the other thing that we have to take a hard look at is eliminating or at least reducing the excessive sales commissions. You know, here in the United States, solar is about double the price of what it costs in Europe and in Australia. And a big reason for that is the large dealer fees and the large sales commissions. I mean, frankly, if we could just cut the dealer fees and the sales commissions out of the solar equation, you drop the solar system price in half overnight. Now, SIG Energy is also taking another step, really going all in to help support installers. Now, they're offering a price drop on their equipment cost as well. So as far as like the equipment price that you would have to pay from your distributors to acquire this equipment as a solar contractor, you're going to see a 20 to 30% price reduction depending on the size of the system. Also, they're gonna have a number of major technological updates. So stay tuned to the channel. We'll have a video coming out in the next month or so announcing some of the technical upgrades to the SIG Energy battery packs and controller. But again, folks, the, 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 the point here is, and I think SIG Energy really, they really get it. They get it better than just about any other manufacturing company that I've spoken with, that this is a matter of survival right now for US solar installers. And I know when I talk to a lot of equipment manufacturers, they wanna talk all about their technology and their AI and, and all about their, their, their gear. And that's great, and we're gonna cover all that. But right now, if you're a US solar installer, the question is, how do, I, how do I survive this next year? And sometimes introducing a new product is not necessarily exactly what I wanna be doing. If I already have my team uh, trained up and, and staffed up to deliver a particular solution, you know, I can't just be trying every new battery that comes out every month. I really have to choose the right long-term partner for the success of my business. And I think that's what SIG Energy is saying to the US solar installer community is, we are a reliable partner we're willing to do everything that we can to keep your business healthy because ultimately, if your business as an installer is healthy, then their business as an equipment supplier will be healthy as well. So this has been a talk about, it's about survival now for US solar installers. Folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. Uh, of course, if you're in the process of looking to get a solar system installed, now is the time. I mean, now is the time if you wanna have a chance of taking advantage of that tax credit. So if you need to get a price quote or get in touch with a contractor in your area, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here set up a call with one of our experts, or just use the free online calculator so you can see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. But that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.